All right, let's talk about this holster. Dang. All right, so this last video for Tactical Talks, um, I talked about the Bravo concealment holster. Now, I got a lot of you guys commenting, um, people saying maybe it's a training issue, which I thought was hilarious. Um, and people saying like, well, all holsters are different. I agree, holsters are different. What I don't agree with is the fact that a gun will not come out of the holster. That's not a matter of being different, that's a problem. Now, this channel isn't about me just complaining about products. Like I said before, you guys know that I don't like to bash any companies, I don't like to talk down about anything or anyone. I was just pointing out something that happened with my holster. I'm not saying that that's company-wide or that's that specific type of holster, it was just the one that I received. Now, obviously, as you guys can tell in the intro of the video, quick, pulled that gun out, was able to get on target, uh, simulated target, because I was just doing it for the video. Now, with me not just complaining about companies, I try to come up with solutions to things. So I came up with a solution, something that helped me. So I'm putting this information out there so that maybe it will help you guys out. For those of you guys who have not seen this holster, this is... A, my Glock 43 and we'll get to why this is sticking out here in a second but this is my Glock 43 this is a Concho Valley custom Kydex holster made by a buddy of mine I'm gonna leave him link down below so go ahead and check him out but he made this holster for me now I know it looks kind of funny with this being here he didn't do this I did this he made this holster for a Glock 43 with a TLR 6 light on it now at the time of him making the holster I didn't have a compensator on there. It was just a regular barrel. I found the compensator and decided, you know what? I wanna put a compensator on my 43. It's a small gun, it's snappy, it kicks. Why not try it? So I did, but the issue I ran into was the holster that he made me didn't fit because of the compensator. So it's Kydex. The way that Kydex is formed is they heat it up and then they form fit it to whatever object, whether that be a gun or whatever else you wanna make a holster for. With that being said, I got a lighter and I heated up the bottom part of this holster and I pushed this through. Now it fits perfect. The gun's not going anywhere. I have a retention screw right here. I get to keep the same holster that I like paddle, you know, not paddle, I'm sorry, pancake style holster that I can wear inside the waistband or flip these over and wear outside the waistband. One of my favorite guns, one of my favorite holsters. So I thought, why don't I do the same thing with this Bravo concealment holster? It's made of Kydex. So that's exactly what I did. I got the gun, I heated it up. Now, if you're having issues, what I was able to do was I heat the gun up and I wiggled the gun around in the holster until it gave me a little bit of play. Now, it's still not perfect. I'm still messing with it, I'm still working with it, but it comes in, it comes out. It's still a really good holster. No, I'm not selling it. Don't message me about, I'll buy this from you, whatever. This is my holster. I'm not getting rid of it, but it works. Now, what I wanted to get with and show you guys, that's my puppy outside. What I wanted to show you guys was, if you guys are having issues with a Kydex style holster, when you get that holster, it shouldn't loosen up. It shouldn't be broken in. Now, it, yes, it is gonna be broken in in the sense that it'll be smoother, but if you get a holster and you cannot get the gun out, it's not a normal thing. So what I did was I heated this thing up with a blow dryer and I just wiggled the gun back and forth, up and down inside the holster. Once I got it to a point where I liked, I was able to put the gun in, pull the gun out, still get that click, put the gun in. It still does have really good retention. It's not going anywhere, but now it works to my satisfaction. If you guys run into the opposite issue where your gun is going into the holster too easily and when you do the shake test, it's not working, you can do the same thing. Get a blow dryer, get a heat gun. You can use a lighter, you can use a stove. Whatever you wanna do to heat this thing up, what you do is you heat it up and you use your fingers, preferably with gloves so you don't burn yourself, and you push around all of these little bumps and grooves and trigger guards all around the gun to give it a better form fit so that the gun fits in that holster even better. So, this channel isn't about complaining and talking bad about businesses. It's about issues that do come up in everyday life and me showing you guys how to fix them. This is my holster. I'm going to keep this holster. If you guys have any questions about this holster specifically, 
comment down below. I'll leave the link to where to get this holster. It's a Texas made holster, so you know I had to get it. I'm going to be practicing drawing with this thing, get this thing exactly where I want it, where I'm comfortable with it. And then we'll talk about actually carrying with this holster. All right, so this video wasn't intended to be a tactical talks video or tactical talks style video. This was supposed to be more of a vlog style video. Um, so that's what we're trying to do here today. Now, I know you guys heard yapping and barking in the background a second ago while I was talking. Uh, give me a second. That's because my little puppy still isn't 100% used to being by herself. For those of you who haven't met her yet, this is Coco. This is my chocolate lab. She is, I believe, seven and a half, eight weeks right now. So she's still very small. Um, she was my Christmas present. So right now I'm just outside. My other dogs are out here as well. I have a boxer and a French bulldog. But Coco is the one getting used to everything, getting used to playing outside with the other dogs and being without me for a while. I've kind of spoiled her and got her used to me being with her and taking care of her and just spending all of my time with her. That's why I haven't been putting out so many videos. I've been taking advantage of family time as well as puppy time. So she's doing really well in her potty training. Hey, stop it. She's doing really well in her potty training right now. And she's been playing really well with the other dogs, even though they are a lot bigger than her. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So really quick, I know this video is not going to have a lot of content in it. It's a couple of days later. I've had a lot of stuff going on. But what I wanted to mention to you guys is one of you guys asked me if I would do a sticker giveaway for the Wolfpack stickers. So if you guys want stickers, comment down below. Um, I'll pick a few people and I'll make sure to send you guys some stickers. The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is my Patreon account. Now, I told you guys from a long time ago, I will never just ask you guys for money. So that's not what I'm doing here. You can donate money or you can become part of the tiers um, to support this channel and everything that I do so that I can make better content for you guys. But with that being said, you aren't just giving me money and getting nothing back. So I am going to be doing giveaways on Patreon. That is linked down below in the description. Um, at the end of this month, I'm going to be doing a 1911 holster giveaway. And of course, I'm going to throw some of my stickers in there. Um, and whatever other little goodies I can find now on the patreon account what that's going to be is Extra content that, that's not going on here. It'll be you know You'll still have access to all of this stuff sooner than everybody else. There'll be extra stuff. You'll see kind of what's coming next um, And then like I said, I'm gonna be doing more giveaways on the patreon side, but I'll still be doing giveaways on this side so we're a little over 750 760 ish i think almost 770 as far as our subscribers now once we hit a thousand i'm going to be doing my big big giveaway like i said it's going to be a lot a lot of stuff so go check out my previous videos if you guys want to know what's going to be in that and that's kind of what we have coming for now um this week's tactical talk hopefully you guys will enjoy it it's going to include more police theme stuff as well as i'm going to show you guys um, a little upgrade to any holster that you can get something I thought was pretty cool fairly inexpensive um, hopefully it'll make a difference so if you guys have any questions comment down below thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one